Hey everybody, thanks for visiting our channel. My name's Eric, we're gonna be quick, we're gonna be precise, and I wanna only remind you this one time to make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button for more great content from me, because I appreciate you and I hope you appreciate me too. Today we're gonna install Steam on a brand new computer. This isn't actually a brand new computer, but it's gonna be a fresh install of Steam. Let's get to it. Whatever your browser of choice is, go to google.com, Type in the little search bar, Steam. I would go ahead and put Valve in there as well, just to make sure you get the right results. It's gonna be the top one though, especially if you do it that way. Welcome to Steam, click on that. It's gonna take you to the Steam page. Up here in the very top, this little green button says Install Steam. I'm gonna click on that next. It's gonna take you to this page. Click on Install Steam again. As you can see, it works on Apple's, available on Apple and Steam OS if you happen to have that. Click that. This is the Windows installer right here. If you want the Apple, just click on the Apple symbol. It'll take you there. Steam symbol, same. It shouldn't take long though. Once you have it downloaded, wherever your browser of choice sends the downloads, I'm using Firefox, mine's right here. As you can see, Steam. I downloaded all of them just to show you when I was clicking the buttons. So there is the, the Linux and the Apple version, but yeah. We're running Windows today, so we're going to do the Steam setup.exe right here. All you got to do is execute it. So you can do it from here, or you can click on this little folder icon, or you can navigate yourself to wherever it downloaded. Some places, you want to go to your little folder icon, your little browser. You want to go to just downloads over here on the left-hand side, and then you should see your Steam in here that you downloaded. So right here, Steam setup.exe. I'm going to double-click on it. If you're not an admin on your computer, but you have admin rights, you may need to right click and say run as an administrator. So most of you shouldn't have to do that though. Click next. Uh, whatever your preferred language is, you wanna select it here, next. And then this is the default install location. Um, I recommend leaving it default. However, if, if you can't, for some reason you need more room, just browse and go wherever you want to go to, to install that. And the reason I recommend leaving that default is it's easier when you're troubleshooting and you can redirect your libraries later on. So if you want to store most of your Steam games onto like your D drive or whatever your, your, you know, your drive of choice is, you can actually do that once you have it installed. So we're going to hit next, install, and then we're going to say yes, run Steam, C, or run Steam. It's going to do some updating. This could take a little bit depending on your internet speed, stuff like that. That's normal. Don't worry about it. It'll update. It's going to install and boom you're going to have steam installed and if you don't already have an account you're going to have to actually create a new account and you can do that from the launcher um, once once it finishes extracting and is done here on this pc i will show you all right once it's done it should pop up a box just like this and this is where you can create your new account or log into an existing account and boom steam is done once you have this set up Steam is installed, and then whenever you log in, it's going to take you to the Steam store. Hopefully this video helped you. Please don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up, and have yourself a great day.